All right, everyone, RJ here. Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm doing a front camera video sample using the Moto G Stylus 5G 2023. Now I'm doing this little video here. I'm doing a, I'm doing a number of front facing video samples on these phones that cost around 200 to 250 or less um, because some of them pack a punch, you know, as far as performance goes. Uh, the cameras where they may lack a little bit, but I'm just gonna I'm, I'm give you an idea. You don't want to spend a lot of money on a phone, and you want to like do vlogging videos like this with a ring light behind the phone. You know the audio quality going straight from the microphone. You know no external microphone, nothing like that. Giving you an idea of, the, of what you think of the quality. You know, I mean, I can't really see it. I'm looking into the camera lens, so yeah, I'm not looking off over here somewhere. You know what I'm saying? So this records in some different ways though, so it's pretty cool. You can record in portrait video, which I'm going to be trying that out here in this video, as well as going from 16 by 9 to a more full screen. So we're going to be trying all of that out here and seeing how it does and the handles of it. I'll keep it short as possible, as always, you know, with these little video samples like this here. But here's the audio. You know, no editing. Uh, everything looks how the camera is portraying it you know i know some some camera like to record warmer some record cooler this this looks a little bit cooler here on my end but uh yeah so this is just the moto g stylus 5g 2023 let's go ahead flip over to portrait mode and we'll see how that looks okay so now we're recording in portrait video here on the moto g stylus 5g 2023 and what I've noticed is that it seems to be a little bit delayed, a little bit slow or kind of choppy. Maybe it won't look like that once the video is done and everything. But, you know, you can see portrait is working pretty good. Um, I'm just not sure if it's keeping up with the with what I'm talking and the audio at the same time. Uh, it may be where this thing just can't handle that kind of performance out of these cameras. I'm really not sure. But, yeah, portrait video... Um, looking at it here, it looks pretty good on my end, but we got to see the finished results. So now I'm going to go from 16 by 9 uh, to full screen, and we're going to see how that looks right now. Okay, so we're now in full screen, and I had to actually push the camera back a little ways because we have the whole screen being taken up now while recording. And so if it's a little bit softer in the audio, I do apologize. The air is on right now, so you might be hearing some the air conditioner in the background. Um, but full screen, you know, I like the option to be able to go 16 by 9 to full screen. Or if you want to record a 1 by 1 or 4 by 3, you can do whatever. Um, but this one right here gives you the option of 16 by 9 in full screen. So here it is. Um, I'm going to finish it off in this right here in this full screen. But... Yeah, to me, it seems to be pretty solid. Portrait video might have had a little bit of issue, um, but it looked pretty decent. You know, the rear camera is even better than the front. So, this is the Moto G Stylus 5G23. If they make the 24, this version of this phone, any better, you know, this is, this is a very, very good phone for a really good competitive price. And it comes with the stylus. And, you know, it's got a nice display. The performance is good. Cameras seem to be pretty solid as well. And I highly recommend this phone. You know, so, but, you know, y'all let me know. How was the audio? How was the video? What did y'all think about it? Sound off down below in the comments section. And leave a like if it was helpful and informative. If you're new around here and not a subscriber, Please consider subscribing and push that bell for all future notifications of all videos to come. I'd appreciate it. Y'all have a good one and thanks for watching.